this video we use something called aim offsets of unreal to make the dragon character look at you wherever you are moving in the world so we use blueprints ai behavior trees ai blackboards to come up with this particular behavior of the dragon okay now we'll be adding a character reference uh, to our ai character for this we need to get the char player character and then cast it to a third person character so we need to then promote this to a variable and then change the name to character ref compile and save this now create a new file called behavior tree choose dragon underscore idle bt which is our behavior tree file save it make another file called blackboard dragon underscore bb save it so behavior tree runs the behavior of the ai and blackboard is basically holds the variables related to the ai so let's just create a dummy behavior tree right now with the pawn action of none now we need to assign this behavior tree to our ai character for this create a new controller which is this is an ai controller so name it dragon underscore ai controller open the file now we need to create a c++ class of ai controller so let's choose the do the same thing what we did for blueprint but this time it's for a c++ class so move go to all classes as we don't see that in common classes choose the ai controller let's name it dragon ai controller create the class once the class has been successfully created go back to our header file and in this let's name some variables here so you property edit anywhere this means that we can edit this particular variable anywhere in in the blueprint so this is a behavior tree we have a public behavior tree ai behavior tree which is of you property which can be edited anywhere now we need to create a begin play class which runs basically when the game starts so we use the virtual world begin play we override the ai controllers class let's go to our cpp file and implement that class to call super which basically calls the parent class and then we need to check if the if the file is valid like if this if it has been populated and if it is we have to run the behavior the turn behavior tree this basically runs the behavior tree which is specified in the blueprint class so let's compile and save it after compile is completed we go back to our blueprint class which i we had created previously we go to class settings and we change the parent class to dragon ai controller you can see that uh, we have a ai behavior file where we select the dragon id underscore idle bt which we had created previously now we need to create ao offset for the dragon character let's create a new folder called aim offsets create an animation offset 1d name it ao underscore head rotation now we need to add a horizontal axis name let's name it yaw and minus 180 to minimum value of minus 180 and maximum of 180 
this is our rotation value from minus 180 to 180 let's save this before um, moving on we need to change the preview base post to a dragon idle breathing let's save it go back to the content drawer let's find our idle uh, breathe animation Let's duplicate this file and paste it in our local folder. Open the file and before opening we need to change it to AO underscore forward. This is our animation file. So move drag it to the start and remove all the frames until only one frame remains. So it should say remove frame one two and this should be the output. So there's basically no frames in this. So once you come to this state, go to the additive properties and change it to mesh space and base post type should be animation frame, selected animation frame and select our idle dragon breathing as the base post type. Save this file. So this is our far forward animation so now we need to duplicate this let's change the AO forward to AO left now select the skeleton so you basically need to have the skeleton looking towards the left so go to the skeleton tree choose the dragon's neck and rotate its head by 90 it should look like this so this is our left Save this file. And add as plus key. So once you add the key, you need to save it. Now let's duplicate the AO forward again and rename it as AO right. What we did to the left, we need to do it to the right too. So we need to change instead of 90, it's basically minus 90. So save it, add the plus key. And then save it again. So we have the left, right and forward where the dragon looks at the left, right and forward. Now we need to open the AO head rotation. And at the corner, it's AO forward, then AO right. Then we drag AO left and at the right corner, it's AO forward. So basically when you hold control over the graph, you basically get from minus 180 to 180, it moves from the left to the right. So as you can see, so minus 180 to 180, it moves from the left to the right. Save this. Now we drag and drop the head rotation AO into our idle or slash walk slash run we connect the base pose and then we we act as an intermediary then we create a new variable called yaw and we drag this variable into the yaw value of ao head rotation save this so this acts as, as the head rotation of our dragon let's go back to our dragon underscore bp class and add a new co arrow component which is arrow 1 and then we need to add a so that's we need that's the red arrow which you see on screen and then we need to add a cube component which is a, which is a child of this arrow component class let's resize the cube so that it's barely touching the capsule collider save We need to then change the collision. So go to collision prefix and choose no collision. And then we need to change the visibility for the cube to be not visible. So select the visibility toggle to not visible. Coming back to the BT, we need to add a service now. 
a service is basically one which keeps running in a loop when a particular behavior tree is running so let's create a service called dragon idle service this is a temporary name this will be renamed to dragon look player service so once a service is created let's override one of the methods called tick ai get the con control pawn let's cast it to our dragon character dragon underscore bp once you cast it we need to get the character reference after getting the character reference we need to get that particular actors location so this is basically the player location in the world then we need to get our dragon location we then need to find find the dot product of this so blue unreal has this find look at rotation which finds the dot product between two locations once that is done we need to set from the cube drag the drag the dragon underscore bp and set relative ro rotation of the arrow that is the arrow one with find look at rotation so once you drag and drop that find look at rotation you get to set the relative rotation of the arrow once that is done let's go back to our anim blueprint compile and save this go back to animation blueprint create two variables one is your which is a float variable and the other is player location which is a vector let's make this both public once you make this public you go back to our service class from the dragon underscore bp you get the animation instance type in get anim instance and then cast it to dragon anim bp which is the animation instance used for our character our dragon character so drag from the anim bp make this public from the anim bp set the player location choose set player location and then we need to set it to our created with cube which we just created from which is a child component of arrow so this is a hack where instead of seeing the player we are just seeing the the dragon is seeing the cube this works for third person ca characters in game and it works smoothly so get the world location of the cube and then set the player location of the cube so basically the dragon is looking at the cube instead of the player compile and save this now go back to our animation blueprint and in update animation we need to set the yaw so in order to set the yaw we get the try get pawn owner get the actor location of the pawn owner we get the player location drag and drop the player location and we do a find look at rotation again between those two take the yaw value of them and then drag and drop that return value z to our yaw float variable as you can see the player the dragon looks at the player at every instance but there is a bit of chopping in order to get rid of the chop we need to update go to the dragon behavior tree and change the interval to 0.01 now 
now we have a smooth motion of the dragon looking at the player wherever the player moves this completes the video so we used the uh, ai behavior trees and in within ai behavior trees we used a thing called services which basically drives this particular behavior of the dragon looking at the character at every point in the next video we'll implement something where the dragon starts attacking the character thank you